All right, so I've got the head off of our V6 Mustang motor here. And even though nobody would probably ever use this thing again, I am going to go ahead and clean it up and get it back to a better than factory state. And what I'm about to present, I think is the easiest and best method of doing that. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so to actually blast this part, I'm gonna be using the VH1000 here. If you guys aren't familiar with what this is, this is a wet blasting machine. It's also known as vapor blasting, vapor honing, liquid honing, aqua blasting. Literally way too many names for me to remember. But essentially what it is, if you are familiar with sandblasting, it's very similar in concept. You have a small abrasive, which I can actually show you what this looks like here. It looks like a powder but this is actually a glass bead. And this is actually going to impact our part. It's going to strip off all that carbon, strip off all that grease and grime. And since we have water in this process, it actually allows the abrasive to hit at a much lower impact velocity. That way it just smooths the surface. And that's what leaves us with a really nice polished finish. Now all this happens incredibly quickly. I can't wait to show you guys. That's insane. That's literally gasket material that's left over on this part. We're, we're wiping it away with a circular abrasive. And I didn't even hit that carbon buildup in there directly and I'm taking it off immediately. And just like that, we're done. So in literally less than five minutes, I blasted this lower portion and you cannot get this kind of result in five minutes with any other process. There are a multitude of advantages when it comes to wet blasting, but in my opinion, the speed at which you're able to polish these parts is incredible. Remember, this, this did have gasket material on here. We were able to take that off with a polishing abrasive. As far as post-treatment goes with a part like this, we obviously recommend that you guys rinse, dry, put this thing in a dunk tank if you can, which dunk tank is literally just a bucket of water that you can put this in and move it around to try and get the rest of that abrasive out of it. If you have an ultrasonic cleaner that you would like to deploy on this guy, that would be an excellent option as well. Few of the other benefits of vapor honing and, and a few of the reasons why we actually use it in our shop. When you are blasting, even though you are blasting with an abrasive on a soft aluminum, you do not have to worry about media embedment. So that glass bead, yes, it can get stuck in cavities. That's why you have to clean the part afterwards, but it's not going to actually embed itself into the part, which can then of course bake out later whenever you put this thing back in service. So once you run water through this thing, actually remove all of that abrasive, you are perfectly fine to go ahead and put this thing back into use. And another thing with not actually embedding media, you do not destroy any of your tolerances with vapor honing. So even if you were to hold the blasting gun in one area for too long, you don't have to worry about treating this thing incorrectly. So you can immediately put this thing back into use. Now, of course, you would want to relap your seats, and if you guys are doing something like a cylinder, you would want to rehome the cylinder. But as far as actual tolerances, again, vapor honing does not degrade those. So it is an amazing process when it comes to anything mechanical, such as dealing with an engine head just like this. Let me know what you guys think about vapor honing, whether or not this is a process you guys would use. If you guys are interested in these machines, I'll put a link in the description below. And tell me what you guys think. Would you use this in your shop? See you guys in the next one.